Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, November 3rd. Uh, another green day today, plus $882.50. So let's go through these. Uh, four for four on my mighty 90s. And this week, uh, out of nine trades, we've only had one losing trade on a mighty 90, and that was a tiny $38 loser yesterday. Uh, so mighty 90 is doing really well. Boeing uh, plus 105, Facebook 236, NEO 114, Tesla plus 495. And then on the runners, I uh, had a runner in the NASDAQ that I took into the Fed announcement, ended up going against me minus 307.50. Uh, the ES, I took a runner after the Fed announcement, plus 325. Tesla uh, was uh, during or after the Fed announcement, plus 140, probably the most frustrating $140 I've ever made. And I'll show you why. Uh, and then NVIDIA, also a uh, post-Fed trade that was a loser for minus 225. So let's go through these, starting with the mighty 90s and BA. So Boeing uh, started out a little weak, pushed all the way up to highs of day. Nice pop in volume. So you've got short right here. Caught this little down move there. Uh, Would have had more profit, but this thing started pushing up on me really quick. I was trying to get filled, trying to get filled. And by the time I did on my last piece, it was up here. So still booked a profit on Boeing, but could have been better. Uh, Facebook plus 236. Let's take a look at Facebook. So Facebook uh, pushing up here, got short right here on this little pop in volume on this push, got short, caught that move down there. Uh, Neo, not one that we've traded in a while, but Neo was moving and uh, uh, kept pushing lower, kept pushing lower. Uh, it, it got down to about right here with this little pop in volume and that's where I got in. Uh, and then it kept pushing, gave us another pop in volume. So I added right here and caught that bounce uh, to get out for net net uh, plus 114. And then Tesla, my biggest winner on the mighty 90 front. Uh, that is nice, nice push down right into a key level uh, with a pop in volume. Got long right here and caught that bounce out of Tesla. All right, so those are the... Mighty 90s. Let's move on to the runners. In fact, I'll stay on Tesla because I had a little runner in Tesla. And let's just let's move this let's move this chart right here first. So, Fed came out at an initial push up, pulled back to unchanged. So I got long right here, looking for a continuation bounce. And I thought this market is getting strong. Things are looking higher. Uh, Tesla is going to be one of the biggest benefactors of that. And even though the market was ripping higher, Tesla just kind of chopped around, chopped around, chopped around, came all the way back down, chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. And about right here, I was like, okay, the rest of the market's moving and Tesla just isn't going to take part in this. So I ended up closing this out, booked uh, right about right there, uh, booked 140 bucks. I was like, okay, well, out with a profit. Well, what happened about 10, 15 minutes later? That and then that. <laughs> so I <laughs> missed the entire move that I was that I was looking for. Uh, got me out just a little bit early. So still booked a little profit, but not quite the uh, massive move that I was hoping for. And then lastly in, in oh, well, not lastly, in NVIDIA, uh, did a little runner as well. So let me scrunch this together. So uh, NVIDIA, so this is after the Fed announcement. NVIDIA started really pushing up, came up to this pivot level, which also corresponded with this price peak back here from earlier in the morning. Had a nice pop in volume here as well. So I got short, looking for a little retracement. Pulled back a little bit, a little bit more. I was really close to getting out of half my position with about a 10% profit, and then it bounced. And so when that happened, I just cut out. Uh, took a loss on that one. And then um, let's go to the futures. Uh, the first one on the NASDAQ. So... I typically don't like to hold trades like this into the Fed announcement, but kind of what I was anticipating is, you know, I, was, I got in way back here looking for a flush lower, and this thing just started chopping, which happens a lot before a Fed announcement, which I was aware of. But I thought it might kind of drift lower. And then going into the Fed announcement, I was up here and it started to drift down right before the announcement. I thought, you know, Whatever, regardless of what the Fed announces, I, I felt like we may get a little flush, even if it would go higher ultimately. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what happened. And, you know, I, I, I mentioned this to somebody in the community today, both on our live stream and uh, on a post, 
that you know we we try not to guess market direction based on news. And so this wasn't I want to clarify, this was not me trying to guess what the Fed was going to do around tapering or interest rates, and therefore I was positioning myself for that. I was literally just looking at price action and how it's chopping around and an anticipation of a potential little drift lower, uh, and I was going to get out, and, and that was going to be the trade, and obviously that didn't happen. So as soon as it started pushing up, I got out right there, took a loss in the NASDAQ, and then uh, the ES, this was after the Fed announced, um, so it had that initial push up. And so when it, it pulled back here, I did not get in there. I was thinking about it, did not, it had a nice bounce. So when it pulled back here, or I think it was right here or right here, I got in looking for another extension and sure enough, I caught it, uh, scaled out. I got out of my last piece at, I think it was 46, 45. So about right here, got out of my last piece. So that was a nice trade. So all in all, a uh, good day, good green day, three green days in a row, plus 882.50. Uh, we'll be streaming live tomorrow on Thursday and then offline on Friday. So we'll see you in the room tomorrow.